guys that would love. Oh, wait, isn't like the buzz here? Is he? I think so. Oh, I got some very important things to do. To yeah, he is. Look, look under Mateo's legs. Oh, true. Yeah. The uh, Smash Four. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, yeah, we're playing under, Melee they're now. Underway, they're underway, um, they're so we got three Falcons on the screen. I'm <laughs> not sure how I feel about that. Um, but so Plum and Windrose are both playing Falcon uh, on blue side, and then on red side, I think Blow is playing. Yeah, Blow's playing Falcon, and Velo's the Mark. Yeah. So we saw Vel and Blow play against uh, was it Duck and a Boop? I think. Yeah. Yeah, actually, you're right. It was that. Yeah. So they got a kind of a young whooping, to be honest. Even though game two looked sort of close, but it was honestly a whooping. I, I don't know how to commentate three Falcons on the screen at the same time. Uh, right. This is really, <laughs> this is really interesting because you know what, Falcon, Falcon's really fast and really strong. So it's gonna be interesting to see how, how little Marth can get hit by his own teammate or <laughs> the other two guys. Yep. Not get hit by the straight. Yeah, there you go. Not get hit by the straight knees. I was about to say. Windrose picking up that kill. I saw him doing some like moonwalk. Did some moonwalk stuff like right after he respawned from the top two. I think he's trying to impress somebody. <laughs> he's trying to impress, impress uh, kind of emoji. Got emoji. Notice me, gun emoji. Yeah, so young Plum. Yeah, also knows the gun emoji. Plum is this, Plum is like the probably if he lived in Oakville still, he'd probably be the number one Oakville player. Yeah. Um, and Winrose, is he from Hamilton or is he from Mississauga? I'm not sure. So where is he from? Yeah. Well, from Markham, but he, uh... Gotcha. I think he lives in Hamilton right now? Yes, because he goes to school. Got there, gotcha. His, um, wife, his wife's doing a residency there, so uh, they had to move. Mm -hmm. She's a doctor. And I'm, I'm fairly certain that Val and Blow are both from uh, the London London area. Oh, gotcha. London, area, London Windsor area. Um, so they're locals. Um, right now, it's pretty pretty heavily so London Windsor favorite. that close. But yeah, Plum just going in that star. Oh, nice edge cancel. Oh, good pickup. Good pickup. Blow again. He's working there. He walked outside, he reached up to that tree, and he grabbed that apple. <laughs> Uh, I feel like there could have been there's potential for a team combo right there. There's a potential for like opposite team combos to combo your teammate, honestly. Um, right. That's just that many knees on the screen. Double uh, Falcons ahead. It's a single Falcon. Well, we know two Falcons are better than one Falcon. Unless it's my Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So what, what do you do in this situation when you're know. one Falcon versus two Falcons? I don't know, he's shield. just rolling. Yeah, roll, shield, don't get need. Hope they kill each other. Yeah, like try to force friendly fire, like moving close to each other. But I think using the edge as a defense might be decent, but it's like, it's a big risk. Because if you get hit by something there, then you're doomed. Yeah, you're gone. If you're, percent, if you're at like mid percent, you're probably doomed at that point. Hmm. Okay, so that was game one. Yep. Kind of a very one-sided game. Yep. Um, I definitely think this is a hard game for a Vis Marth player to do anything in, um, just because of the sheer speed of the other three players. Yeah, um, it's like he hits one of them, and then someone else, someone else is gonna hit him from behind or something. Right away, he got neared by his own teammate. Yep. He's able to get a hit in, just like you mentioned. So he's able to like, get up, get a hit in, but he immediately gets hit after it. Yep. Not really much you can do. Uh, Missed all cancel on Marth's downer. I don't know. I've never seen any Marth all cancels downer. I think it's a myth. <laughs> Same again in stomp. Like that thing's impossible to all cancel. Oh yeah, again in stomp is actually super. Hard. <laughs> if, so, if someone tells you that they've all canceled it, they're lying. I, I, I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. I swear. No man, I call BS. Okay. Fine. I, you're right. You're right. I never did it. I'm never sorry. I'm sorry, Ryan. I won't even for a second believe it. You can try to show me video footage, I'll just say it's spliced. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, one thing I, I think I want to see more of from the Falcon player on, uh, from Blow, uh, I want to see Blow protect his teammate more, and he's actually doing a pretty decent job of that this game. Um, you saw earlier, uh, Bell was in a situation where he was kind of getting cornered by Gun Emoji, and he came in and just, uh, Blow kneed him and gave him some space, which is really good. Um, so more play like that. I think two things is Marth needs to work on, especially for this matchup. One, he doesn't always have to um, 
the way he's using his fares, he doesn't always have to do like a landing fair. You could like jump and like swing early or go for double fares sometimes to stuff when the Falcons are like jumping around him and above him all the time. Because he's usually like either doing late fair or he's trying to like downer them, which is laggy. So I think he needs to like swing more, swing more, and also like grab a lot more often just to like stop one of the Falcons from moving. You can like grab him and then like try to like just throw him into a knockdown or throw him off stage. Do you think maybe taking the more of a backline there position go. would be good? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> there. Yeah, backline, like letting the other Falcon go in first. I don't know. Actually, I think it would be better for uh, the Mark to take the, take the lead, yeah. in, in my opinion. I think one, because generally it's hard for characters to challenge his range, but I think he can go in, go in swinging, and if he gets hit by one of them, I think the Falcon can come in uh, after he gets hit and then uh, take the front after. So they can like switch switch roles, like if the Mark has trouble getting in on somebody. Mm -hmm. You're right. So they can switch or he can hold shield and let Falcon like his Falcon jump through him with like an air or here or something. So, yeah, that was a rough. Vel just kind of chilling on the ledge, not doing much. Um, rather so unfortunate. Tippered his teammate after taking a stock. But Winrose trying to do a little uh, extra stuff. Look at him grinning, grinning about it. He knew. He knew that was cheeky stuff. Alright, there you go. He's getting the throws, but he's not landing hits after. Oh, no follow up off that throw? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Over committing. Again. Oh, his smashes. that knee saved him. That was crazy. Yep. Throw some fares in there, man. This isn't undoable. Yep. Um, now that they're uh, screwing around, the uh, uh, blue team has made it close. Mark can't make it back. Well, this is what happens when you put Hamilton players on screen. They just kind of screw around. Windrose yep. at a dangerous percent right now. But all the nares. But it does nothing. Oh. I knew I knew someone was going to try and Falcon punch. I knew. There's three Falcons on the stream. There's no way. There's no way that one of them is not going to do it. Oh, that's that was a free Falcon punch edge guard right there. Oh. That's not good. All right, Windrose with the suicide. So now he's one knee away from possibly just losing this game. Oh. He didn't go for it. He didn't go for it. Oh. All right, there it is. You know what? But no. The red team looked like they had a lot of fun. Yep. Club landing his own 